Hey everybody, it's Bill from NightTracker.com and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Every one of those clicks helps us grow and helps us keep going. Uh, if you like the videos, give them a like. And um, that's about it for now. I took a break today uh, as I was struggling with some code. And I saw a, a mask movie preview. Somebody, somebody made it. And, well, I didn't watch it yet, but I want to, I want to watch it with you and then react to it, see what we have here. I'm going to play it in its entirety, but I'll also link directly to it in the description. So that way there you can see it without looking at me. Um, uh, but yeah, let's, let's take a look. The world is changing. We can no longer sit idly by as storm clouds gather. Our enemies know everything about us. They know our weaknesses. So far, um, it's a little confusing. I'm is I'm guessing that voice is supposed to be Miles Mayhem talking through his mask, um, which is something that I really think would be a better situation overall. It should be distorted. Um, but I'm wondering what enemies he's talking about. Is it mask versus venom? So let's keep going here. They won't need force to conquer us. All it takes is one good magic trick. Because illusion <laughs> is the ultimate weapon. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Tracker? Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. That, that scene must have been pretty hard to actually put together. Um, I, I could tell when I saw it, like when I saw Boulder Hill, kind of got a little nostalgia feel. And then kind of seeing some of the actors. Now, I don't know if these actors would actually be in this. I think one of them, I was just in the King Kong movie, but the premise of it is, is that these actors are placeholders, so to speak, I would imagine. Um, and now we have a battle scene here, so let's get back to that. Oh, before we do that, when you when you saw Boulder Hill come up, uh, what was your thought? What would, what did you feel at that time? Okay, let me know in the comments. Nice, Good transform. Commodore 64 action there at the end there. So Monster Philosophy is the person who put this together. Um, I want to go this real quick, though. Uh, look at some of the scenes here. that I, I know I saw Scott and T-Bob. I want to see what the heck that was. Now, a lot of these shots are, I, I believe, Transformers and things of that nature. But they already have the entity. Like, Hasbro has it. They, they have a formula that they can go with. Uh, they're just not doing it. It's it's really pathetic. There we go. Hold on. 
what is that? How does this come about? <laughs> oh man, hope the uh, hope we get an answer on that thing one day. Um, but overall, I mean, it gets you it gets you pumped up for seeing something new. It gets you, you know, you're, you're seeing that you're seeing the vehicles with newer renditions, but you're also seeing things that are similar to what you would grown up with. Um, the Thunderhawk looked really cool. Uh, there was a lot of other things in there going on, but the, you know, the premise of Shark being in there, um, you would have that Piranha, I would imagine, too. Really cool, really well put together. I just really, um, I was really surprised uh, that this came out and pleasantly surprised. And I hope to uh, see more of this, maybe hopefully get spread around a little bit uh, just to help keep mask alive and keep it in the forefront the best we can um so in the comments below let me know your thoughts on this trailer and if you have any questions for me uh, please let me know as well and as always please remember to like comment and subscribe to help keep mask alive and this is bill from mattracker.com and i'll talk to you later and i need to figure out who this is <laughs> Trump's got some